a South Carolina teen's family is still searching for answers two years after the 16-year-old boy died at a wilderness camp for nonviolent offenders. Del Quansigas, who was in state care after violating probation for a shoplifting charge, officially died of asthma in November 2015, but his family disputes the coroner's claim. He had asthma but it wasn't severe asthma, Delquin's mother Shade Armour Seegers told CBS News. Shade Armour Seegers and other family members believe that Delquan was beaten at the camp. An estate audit determined the Department of Juvenile Justice did not properly look into allegations that the teen's death involved foul play, according to CBS News. Ami Kids, a national non-profit which runs the camp, said in a statement to CBS News that local and state probes found the organization not at fault in the teen's death. Dwight Marshall, a former camp supervisor, told the network that the investigation into Delquin's death was slow, tedious, like no one cared. Marshall said he told investigators that a witness saw Delquan get punched in the stomach before he passed away, according to CBS News. Marshall added that staffers were violent, in addition to the kids. Kicks, slaps, punches, closed fist, close range, Marshall, who was close to Delquan, told CBS News. A staff member at another Ami Kids camp was accused of body slamming a teen in 2015, according to the station. Shade Armour Seegers says she is just hoping for justice for her son. I want my baby back, but I can't have him, she told CBS News.